you know, I'd like to think that the guy, the, the guys, yeah, these guys sing so that I don't have to. Oh. I would have been able to, oh, just get a whole new one. Bull rat study. The bulk of the rodent is hardly the most interesting detail, though it is the, the one first, wow, though it is the one first remarked upon by visiting colleagues who come to study my prize from Pendicia. Upon further observation, it becomes obvious that the specimen exhibits greater cunning than its cousin's native, native to temperate, ugh, temperate gristal. Twice in the night, I've awoken to find it loose in my apartment, so a new cage had to be devised. An entertaining diversion, but a waste of my precious time. The dietary tests I have conducted have also proved some surprise. The Pendicium bull rat, I can say with confidence, is not a finicky eater. With equal gusto, I have seen little... I have seen my little desk... I quit, guys. I just... I can't speak today. It dines upon other rats. Living felines, eating the corpses of flesh... <laughs> Bull rat fetus. What do I need this for? But also, I can't freaking talk. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with heat therapy which came to me most vividly in a dream last night has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment as for test subject 312 after the characteristic sloughing of the skin she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow please sir please let me go ah awake i see how are you feeling much much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir, I don't want to die. Hush now, no one's going to die. You are much improved from birth to 12. The formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? You'll release me tomorrow? I'm not going to die. Yes. Tomorrow, I will have the guards remove you from this cell. The latest morning, perhaps. But the pain! Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're sick, man. You're torturing her. All in the name of quote unquote science. You're not gonna stay there for long, are you? Target neutralized. Yeah, boy. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject Thank you. Is Whoever you are, rapidly. he kept me in a cage, like an animal. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave him the 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 That's an unfortunate good idea. Test subject 312. After the characteristics 
Yeah, I, I heard that. Okay. As requested, this is a sample of the black market elixir we believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula, or even to Piero's remedy, but people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim, when pressed, to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications, so while it may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Oh boy. This will be interesting. Wow, I don't even need to use the... Don't even need to use the uh, elevator. But there was something that I wanted to get into. Where was it? It was something in his study. Yeah, this thing over here. Because how can I not? I still don't know what the... I wonder if one of those survivors was supposed to give me the passcode. And maybe because I got them killed, they can't. Yeesh. Consequences. That's how life works. Ricardus claims she memorized the litany on the white cliff in a night. Is it possible? No, no, no. Spread out. There's been word of a ruckus. No details yet. Hey Samuel, guess who I got? You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Alright, yeah, I don't know how to get that one thing, so I guess I'll leave the money behind. Alright, hostiles killed five. I still don't know how I killed Any hostels? Because I'm just knocking them out. Is is knocking them? Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. The royal physician Anton Sokolov is now in the custody of the loyalists. Through Sokolov, it will be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How cooperative will the most brilliant man in the Empire be? He must be swayed or coerced into telling what he knows. He set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. So is Sokolov just kind of like prisoner of war? Was he really in on all of it? Because, I mean, he was there with the Empress at her palace. I wonder. Well done, Corvo. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, 
We won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Oh, now you let me sleep. Did you, did you return my mattress? <laughs> Rumble sniffle. All right, guys. What kind of goodies have you waiting for me, huh? Look at that. Copper wire just laying around. I'm working on a new will be closed for a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest, the Lords Custom and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now falls to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for respect. I'm so upset that I can't get in there yet. Doing my daily rounds. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I need to loot everything. Lord Pendleton, Memoirs, Chapter 41. Dang, I missed a lot. Man, uh, you guys having trouble there? <laughs> oh boy, Bravo, Havlock, Bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. He was counting on the supports of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton voting bloc has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's using to keep the city watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it's a powerful noblewoman who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try to dig up more information. As we know, if the watch doesn't get paid, in coin and in elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble. Your friend on the inside. Good, good. We're getting closer to reaching our goals, but our position is becoming more dangerous. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude. If our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. He is returning now with Anton Sokolov. Over his shoulder. Sorry, I started reading the second log entry just to make sure I didn't miss anything and got distracted. Uh, simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction that I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions toward one another before following that line of thought. Lady Emily Caldwell was abducted some six months past at the moment of her mother's terrible murder. 
Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the city watch at once. All right, so now I've got this abandoned apartment key, which I believe is over there. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff. Look at this, look at this. Wow, I completely forgot to check to see if there was another bone charm. Send us food, not bullets. I concur. Bullets are not fun to eat. They're rather stale tasting, very rough, very tough. All right, let's go talk to Piero. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Awesome. Let's see what upgrades you got. Boot stealth. Sweet. And of course I'll get boot stealth too. Why ever not? Very nice. Am I missing anything? Or things to eat? I don't want food. Oh. Logic is flawed. Anyone can see that. And not an original idea to be heard. His notes are a mess if he even keeps them. How he got this far is anyone's guess. He says what they want to hear. Friend of the rich. That's his method. Sokolov's true genius is pampering the aristocracy. Fools. I have a feeling he's not a fan of Mr. Sokolov. But, I mean, who would be? Two battling geniuses. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Now she's just tossing and turning. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. I'll take your Tivian ore. The Golden Cat. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates, and instead of a cloth napkin, I've only the bar rag. Ale mugs, instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. Floor, I suppose. It's not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. I like how everyone just keeps vocal journals, just audio journals all over the place. It's really neat to be able to hear the different uh, mindsets and attitudes of everyone hearing about. Also, poor Emily. Stop it. What? 
walking? Oh. Oh. I didn't know I could just... See, look. Now my bed's back. Ooh. Corvo. This matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I don't wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least. So perhaps someday I will see them again. Cool. Alright, I'll have to keep that in mind that I've got more sleep darts up here. But yeah, it's just, it's neat to kind of get a glimpse into what everyone else is doing and how they're taking care of Emily and everything. Um, and, you know, just like the little rivalries between people. Okay, I thought they were going to make me try to interrogate him. I was like, awesome, and maybe not cool, but awesome. <laughs> Let's see. I don't I don't know what to what to upgrade now. Vitality might be nice. Ben time. I haven't used this enough. I really should. Maybe I'll save my runes and get Ben time. That sounds like a good idea. Anyway, another mostly silent commentary on my part but I don't know I'm just I'm enthralled by the the world of this game I just get so engrossed into being stealthy and trying to sneak around and find ways and not get caught even though I really suck at that but it's been fun I'm enjoying this and I hope you guys are too because this is a neat dystopian world that I'm really enjoying becoming a part of anyway I'm gonna get some sleep and then we're going to go see what the next thing is. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. You can stay here whenever you want, Emily, because you're adorable, and I'm your protector. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Now they expect me to interrogate Sokolov. Corvo, this is a drawing I made of you with your scary mask. Wait, am I her dad? Wait, do I not get to see it? Oh, without your scary mask. Okay, I thought it said with. Am I actually her dad? That's really sweet. Aw. Emily. Aw. Look at you. Such a big girl. I love it. This is so cool. Aw. No. Oh. All right, let's go. I guess interrogate Sokolov, right? All right. 